Hello everyone, welcome back to the vlog. Today we are doing another Living Alone Diaries. I love doing this series. It's actually one of my favorite vlog style slash concept type of videos that I make on my channel. To be completely honest with you guys, for the last four days, I've been playing Pokemon nonstop. I'm excusing it by saying it with self-care. I just feel like I've been so busy lately. I just needed something to decompress. And I love when things just take you into like a new world. I think today is definitely a day I want to do even more self-care for myself. I think I should to take myself out on a date. I know Valentine's is right around the corner and you know, if you're living that single life or that self-love lifestyle, I think it's important for you to check in with yourself. You also have to get comfortable with being alone. A lot of people hate being alone and I think it has a lot to do with that they can't stand to be alone with their thoughts or face the reality of their life almost. So I think it's a good exercise to exercise being alone and being by yourself and in that moment and really get to know yourself yourself. See what you like, see what you don't like, do some self-care, disconnect, put your phone on do not disturb. It's okay to create these boundaries for yourself. I was definitely a person that thought setting healthy boundaries was mean or I was being mean, but it's really not. It's just setting healthy boundaries. Oh, I also got my hair cut, so I don't feel like a Muppet anymore. I'm very happy about that. So I'm going to take myself on a date later and just hang out with you guys today. I did want to show you guys something. Here it is. <laughs> One of my best friends, Lexi Hensler, who's a YouTuber on here, I'm sure you guys know her. So she came out with this stuffed animal line. And what's so crazy is it has glass beads in it. So it's basically like a weighted blanket. Like, I know when I go to Remy's and like her dogs lay on me when I'm laying on her couch, I find it really soothing. So it kind of emulated that same type of feeling. It made me so happy. Also, this is just so cute. Stuffed animals for some reason, like especially squishy ones, like squishmallows and stuff like this. I usually just end up donating it, but like, I feel like I'm healing my inner child. These were the type of toys I wanted when I was younger. And now with my adult money, I can buy them. Okay, so today it's all about self care. So we wanna nourish our bodies. So I was thinking of making myself a smoothie. So this is the smoothie today, blueberry and kai berry. Not sure if I'm saying that right. I've actually never heard of that. Hopefully I'm not allergic. Doing things one hand is hard. Ooh, okay, freeze dried. Oh, it has, <gasps> it has cauliflower in it. They sneak in the greens. I kind of live for that. This is my first time trying this brand or even trying this type of smoothie. So hold on for the review. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some some unsweetened vanilla almond milk. I broke out the handy dandy ninja for this very basic blender. All right, it is the moment of truth. It's such a pretty purple color. Okay, let's see. I'm not sure how I feel about it. It's not something I would pick normally, but it definitely does taste very healthy. I don't really taste the berries at all. Okay, well, let's continue our day, you guys. So every time I go to Trader Joe's, they have weird and unusual plants, just like really intriguing. And they had this like bulb that was a hyacinth plant. I hope I'm saying that right. All I need to do is keep the water at 70% in the jar and just leave it in sunlight. That's all I have to do and it will bloom. For some reason, I have the best luck with plants. They just thrive in my environment. I'm a big believer that plants can sense energy. So I like to think that if plants are thriving around me, that the energy's good. When I tell you, these were mere bulbs the other day. This one, how cute is this little glass thing? And how cute is this? This was so small when I got it a few days ago. And look, it's already blooming. And then that's not even the kicker, guys. Look at, look at her. She is glorious. Look, there's two of them and a third growing. They smell heavenly. I'm so happy. I don't know, plants just amuse me. Plants love me back as much as I love them. Time to continue my day. I've been in the house too long. It's time to take myself out, show myself around town. You guys, my Uber just dropped me off. In this area, I feel at home. It's like this cute little strip with a bunch of cute little shops. I'm like very shook right now because I've never explored this area. And 
It's like a little shopping park. I'm so excited. I'm gonna go look at the directory. The little like bookstore that I wanted to go to is down there. So I'm definitely gonna hit that up, but I wanna see what else they have. It reminds me kind of of like a small town. There's so many things here. You guys, I am out in nature. I just made it to last bookstore. There's this like little patio area that I can sit. You know, you can just buy your book, get your little coffee and read out here. It is so cute. I don't wanna be too loud. Also, I made a big mistake by wearing all black, a sweater, and a jacket. I thought it was gonna be cold, and here we are, warm as hell. We're gonna go find a book. We're gonna chill together. And I need to find some food because I'm pretty hungry. This bookstore was amazing. Look at all these plants and greenery. This was just chef's kiss. And we had some journals, some knickknacks, in case you wanted to get like a last minute gift for someone. And they had this amazing section of vintage books. I love this. And they also had vintage vinyls. And then I went to the bathroom and they had this cool neon sign too. And then what I loved is the setup is kind of like a maze. So you can just walk around and get lost in the books and kind of let the books find you, which I feel like is important. You know, the saying goes, you can't judge a book by its cover. So you really just gotta keep walking around, grab things that intrigue you. Filming these are so awkward, but you know, anything for the content, baby content. And this is what I decided to pick up. And they had an aquarium with a little dory. There's another bookstore, your family bookstore, Once Upon a Time. Oh, this is so cute. I love this. The representation is snapping. I think this is for children. I feel very seen. Oh my God, that is so cute. All right, we have a pet shop. So I'm curious if they actually have animals. So I went into the pet store and they have so many live animals. Oh, this one's cool. Hello. Look at this red knee tarantula. It's so pretty. Okay, I am so hungry. I need to find a food place now, like ASAP. I'm just gonna walk the strip and hope for the best. You guys, I walk past this artwork. It's giving metaverse. Look, it changes as you walk. How crazy is that? It's giving NFT. You guys, I did not find a restaurant yet, but what I did find is a crystal shop. I saw this sign. I have to go. How cute is this, guys? Also, this looks very popping and busy, too. I might want to eat here. How interesting and old-timey. Just got the strawberry turkey sandwich. It looks really good. And some sweet tea. How cute is that? I'm interested to see if this is good. So... Finally gonna try it. It looks so good. Look at this. It's so good. Strawberry turkey. It has like a jam type of taste. And the bread, excellent. I just left that area and then now I'm heading to the Glendale Galleria, which is like the local mall. And I need to finish shopping for some like last minute things for Remy. A lot of her gifts did not come in time, but we're going to Target and I'm gonna meet up with a friend. So I told you guys that I was meeting up with a friend. Look who decided to join me, Miss okay. Celebrity MUA. Miss Celebrity MUA, Eros MUA. Ollie and a fan. <laughs> not that. I think it's so funny because whenever I go shopping or anything, I always think to invite you. Not the hooligans in the mall. I love this time of night. It is so pretty and I don't know, it's like twilight. I think it's called twilight, but the lighting is just so cute and all of the lights are showing. Do I dare treat myself to some macarons? So we decided to sit and eat some snacks and then I went home, watched some Euphoria and fell asleep. So I forgot to film an outro. Bye guys. See you guys next week. Love you.